cool to see people do this to cars like this. But that is all Bondo. Oh, no pillar, no metal, no problem. We'll build it out of Bondo. Holy crap. On this got this inner structure all welded in there and now I'm working on this section I still got to put some 415 in there and clean that up a little more but it will survive so working on this piece right now and get fitted and cut in and then start working on this corner this has been a fun project it's a lot of work but uh, I think it's worth bringing the car back to life instead of seeing it at the scrap yard for junk so We'll continue on. rebuilt all the rust out of there a bunch of panels and I just gotta continue the outer stuff so all the inner structure is pretty good and it's got some pitting in it um, that's double layered right there too so uh, we'll see what happens we might replace that little piece if uh, it gets worse back here or something because I can see through it right there so we'll see what happens once we get the roof skin off but uh, Well, I'm just coating everything with pour 15 to make sure it doesn't rust, but we're gonna get these panels welded back in. We're gonna have to build a new top edge because this edge was all rusted out. Um, and we'll build a new corner piece. But it looks like it's all gonna fit pretty well, so. All right, well, we'll continue on. All right, well, now that we got everything back together, it's another day. Uh, let's get started by putting this door back on and the fender, making sure everything's lining up good here, body line wise. And then we'll start building this outer panel for the A pillar here. And I'm trying to get a roof still. I've been calling a few companies, um, trying to work on something, but we'll see on that. All right, I got the door and the fender back on and got them lined up the best I could. This is an aftermarket fender. I got a big gap problem. I mean, it's same thing on the other side, but not as bad. But this is my template I used on the other side to cut it out. And it's not far off, so it's pretty close. Um, everything's coming out good. Uh, so we'll start filling this in and working our way up. So we got that piece pretty close. Let's get some nice shape to it. And it's fitting up to our lines. We're gonna have to pull this piece, cut this weld and pull it out a little bit and then reshape that better. So it fits the fender a little more. This fender is aftermarket and it does, it needs to be rolled a little bit. I'll have to pull it back off to do that. Uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. I'm gonna make sure it lines up with the door real nice cow real nice and then we'll put our bead roll in it and uh, start working our way up the pillar.
All right, we're back here, and we're still working on this uh, driver's side corner. So I need to, I got, made myself a template out of cardboard and cut this out of metal. So it's gonna go here, but as you can see, it needs to spot weld to the body, nice and flat along this edge, and then be welded to that. So I've got some shaping to do, and we'll get this to fit. No different than the other side. piece got a couple spot welds and a couple tacks on it let's just make sure the door still shuts yeah that's looking good still and that'll continue right up to the roof so so far so good all right i'm back so i'm waiting on the roof panel i uh, can't work my way up anymore so i'm gonna work back on this side Go ahead and pull the door and the fender off and I'm gonna continue working on this side it does need a little bit of work in here I'll probably replace this piece once we go down there's a couple little holes that's easy and then down here still got a bunch of bond new in there so a few little patch panels in here so I'm just gonna keep going and uh, work my way around this car a bit Hopefully I can get a roof here soon so I can finish these A pillars and then start working on the B pillars, quarters, and everything else that needs to get done. So. while and uh, got fit, fit in there pretty good so, it's all looking really nice you know, of course so went ahead and marked it uh, I'll cut it a little on the outside of the line and grind it in but get a little closer probably work it a little bit more and then we'll cut out the bad stuff and we'll then the good stuff this piece cut in pretty nice uh, cut the old stuff out and actually there's the old inner structure so it was pretty rusted out and you can see where my new inner structure starts right there so I got to bring it down to this old stuff right here where it's still good and fill that and then we'll put this on should be good shop cold outside all right so started patching up all this stuff in here and getting down into the really bad stuff it would be nice if they made panels for this patch panels but they don't so um, you can either go try and cut one off of a find a car that's good and cut it off but that's next to impossible so I'm gonna make this by hand like everything else and there's going to be uh, quite a few panels in this one little section. 
Uh, I'm not going to be able to make everything out of one piece, obviously. So uh, there'll be, be a few different pieces. Uh, we'll see what it turns out like, I guess. Not really much to go off of. Uh, both sides are pretty roached, so we'll figure it out. So before I uh, get into any of this, I am going to have to fix a lot of this inner stuff. But before I do that, I want to try and get these outer pieces formed and really close before I cut anything out because I'll cut my new piece in and then get behind there and clean it all up, whatever needs to be done. Um, if more needs to be cut out, then more needs to be cut out and we'll be back in later. But let's get the roach stuff fixed up. I'm pretty sure this panel goes down, attaches here, goes back and attaches right here. Um, needs a piece right here so we'll get that made it's gonna take a while but uh, I'm gonna get working on it start I might, have to, I might trim this down a little bit because it doesn't really need to be that high um, but I'm gonna start I'm gonna leave this all pinned in here and I'm gonna start working on this next get this all figured out uh, then we'll cut it all out cut all that bad stuff out see what's behind it see what needs to be repaired um, and what we got to do to fix that and uh, yeah but so far so good the piece turned out pretty nice report so we cut this out it's pretty nasty and a new piece got that spot welded in I uh, built this panel earlier before cutting anything out So now I gotta rebuild this piece I cut out. And this all goes with the floors, even though it's decently okay. Um, but this piece was rusted out pretty bad. So this shouldn't be too bad of a piece to make. Should be pretty easy. this and weld to this and then the outer piece which is I've already been working on here because it needs up and covers everything else up. So needless to say I've been working my butt off. But we're getting there. This is a really huge project obviously and uh, when you get yourself into something like this, you just can't get discouraged. You gotta just keep cutting into it and until you find good metal and replace all the bad stuff. It takes time, but it's all doable. So have fun on your project. I went ahead and got that piece made. I'm gonna weld up a couple seams in it before I weld it in. But it turned out good.
Another day, another dollar. Here we go. So yesterday, before I went in, I went ahead and had it sanded and wire wheeled as much of that surface rust as I could off of there and uh, coated everything with that Pour 15, which says you can paint it directly over rust and it stops it from rusting anymore. So hopefully that'll be good. I even coated my, my new piece I made down here um, just to protect it because why not? So I gotta get all this stuff fitted again. Uh, I'm not gonna weld these spot welds because that's the floor and I'm gonna end up taking the floor out anyway so why you know have to drill them twice so for now we'll just weld the seam and this seam up here and we got a bunch of other spot welds we can go to this structural stuff and uh, we'll get that welded in this piece welded in and then this might need a little more fitting work um, like around this bubble in this corner it needs a little more and then we'll get that piece welded in so should be able to finish this up uh, in a couple hours. those other pieces all welded in and then working on getting this piece final fitted so it's turning out good we'll get a spot weld back there to that and all around here and got the edge bent so it's coming out pretty good uh, bead rolls a little tiny bit crooked there I think but it's not that noticeable and you'll never see it behind the fender really so it is what it is but turning out good. Got a lot of grinding to do still, but new metal. <laughs>